Hey there! Guys, we already know how to vectorize letters, right? In this lesson, we are going to apply what we learned to our text. As you can see, I've opened my sketch in Illustrator and selected a square canvas of 15 by 15 centimeters. Remember, this is the size I'm going to use for printing. Before starting, lock the sketch by pressing Ctrl 2 in Windows or Command 2 in Mac. Then create a new layer where we'll be vectorizing the lectures. And now what? That's it. Select the pen tool and start vectorizing as we learned in the previous lesson. Guys, in this step, it's also possible to modify and proof the lettering. You don't need to firmly base on the sketch, so introduce changes if you think they are necessary. Keep adding anchor points, horizontal and vertical tangents. Remember that we'll be able to modify the handles afterward, so if there are some misplaced points, we can change it later. In this case, most letters are linked, so it would, wouldn't be a good idea to use a single stroke for all of them. Why? Because if we want to modify a letter or move it, the rest will be effect affected as well. And here in the K, it's an example of when we would need to include an anchor point so that the curve changes. Although it's not that important, the hand's direction. So don't worry if it's vertical or horizontal. It's just for you to work comfortably, okay? And the same with the ampersand. It's better to use uh, in inclined uh, handles in this case. As you can see, uh, and when you are vectorizing, you need to constantly come back and modify anchor points and handles. 
it's quite difficult to uh, include them perfectly or insert them perfectly. So we need to modify it constantly, okay? Guys, it's normal that you find it a quite tiresome and exhausting task, especially at the beginning. But I assure you that after practicing a lot, you'll become familiar with this uh, process, with the vectorizing process and with the pen tool. And then you will master the task, okay? Guys, sometimes when creating curves, it's just not a matter of uh, moving or modifying handles. Uh, you may also need to modify anchor points, okay? Okay, once you finish all the words, we can get rid of the sketch, so uh, I'm going to hide it before I keep working. I think I'm going to change the is terminal by inserting a spiral. Uh, the sketch I made previously is just a starting point. The important thing here is the final result. So we can modify and introduce changes at any moment. Okay? It takes time, so you spend some time modifying the points until you get a harmonic result. Our eyes detect errors easily. Also, when it comes to monolineal lettering, it is without contrast. The layout and arrangement should be almost perfect, since misplaced elements are noticed easily.
Well, important here is that uh, we are watching this video in fast motion. Actually, it takes a lot of time to vectorize all these letters, okay? It's a quite slow process and you could spend like from 40 minutes to one hour or even more if you are not uh, familiar with this, with it, okay? Well, guys, our text is vectorized. Great! In the next lesson, we'll be adding details to the card. So, see you there!